It has now been 24 hours since President Biden announced new vaccine mandates, and today there's already threats of lawsuits. Our Phil Blauer is tracking that, but we begin here in San Diego where police officers are one of the many agencies that have been given a mandate to get their vaccines. And Fox 5's uh, Jamie Chambers live to explain how the police union is now pushing back and wanting more options. Jamie. Yeah, Andrew, about 50% of uh, SDPD officers have already been vaccinated, and that's a lot lower than just the general public that have access to the vaccine. So we're seeing some serious hesitancy from the officers, and now the police union says there is an absolute coordinated pushback for now. The message coming from the rank and file members of the San Diego Police Union is clear. They don't want to follow the current city vaccine mandate, out of 1,900 officers given a survey on vaccine mandates. 733 responded. That, that means that it's a, it's a hot topic, obviously, amongst our membership. And those that responded didn't send a mixed message. 90% of officers who took the survey say they are opposed to a vaccine mandate. UT Public Safety reporter David Hernandez broke this story and says the numbers show a startling dissension between the officers and city health orders. 65% said that they would rather quit, just leave the job altogether in, if the city were to impose a vaccine requirement. If I'm somebody who absolutely, for whatever reason, doesn't want to, to have a vaccine and the place next door says you're good over here, um, you know, that, that might be what pushes me out the door. Detective Jack Schaefer, the president of the police union, says he's listening to members and trying to retain his officers. Currently in, in meeting and for negotiations uh, with the city, um, you know, and um, we're hopeful that we're going to find some kind of compromise. Schaefer says while he personally is vaccinated, his goal is simply keeping the personnel gains SDPD has made in the past few years. Legally, you look at case law and all that stuff, um, we don't really have much of an argument in that in that sense. Um, what we do have an, an argument is let's compare ourselves to other places and how they're trying to respond to this. So it'll be really curious to see how this shakes out as the police union negotiates with the mayor and they try to come up with some conclusion to make sure that they retain all the officers that they need here in San Diego and also get as many people vaccinated as possible. It'll be a very interesting negotiation to see how this plays out because it might set a standard for different officers in different departments. That's the very latest from San Diego.